And Dennis. One morning, Thomas was at net where Stacy wants to tell him how to drove up. Thomas, a new diesel engine named Dennis has arrived on Sodor. You, you must help him to be really useful today. Yes, sir, said Thomas. Your job will be helping him deliver cars or crates from the yard to the docks. Yes, sir. I'll do that right away. This dumb head drove away. And Stepney popped in. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing today? I'm helping the new diesel engine named Dennis. We're going to work well together, Thomas says. Well, that's exciting, says Stepney. Thomas popped into the yards and saw Dennis. Hello, said Thomas. You want to see Dennis? Yes, and there's too many trucks in this yard, said Dennis. I don't know how to all shunt them. Don't worry, said Thomas. It's quite easy, actually. So Thomas shut the trucks and put them all in line. See, Sir Thomas, it's not that hard at all. In other words, I'm supposed to work with you to take those cars to the Brendan docks. Okay, said Dennis. Then Edward popped up. Hello, Edward. Hello, Thomas. Edward said. Sir Thomas says that you, that's, that's you and Dennis must set, shut stone cars and cars of steel to take the burn nuts as well as the cars of crates. Okay, we'll shut those just like the cars of crates, said Thomas. Oh, and uh, right now you must have take a quick passenger train from Nafford to Maithwaite, it was said. I'm sure you can manage, it was said. Anyway, this was the stuff I said. Like Thomas Arrow said, they put the way. Dennis and I was supposed to work together. I, mean, I don't know what I'm telling him that he has to work on his own. Oh, Dennis, said Thomas. I have to take a passenger train now, so... You just shut the rest of the cars and I'll be right back, Thomas said. And he put the way. But Thomas, said Dennis. But, Thomas was already gone. Thomas was winning at Napa Station for the passengers when Alex popped up. Hello, Thomas, he said. I have to work on my new engine. All I was, said Thomas. But I had to be called away to pull a passenger train from Napa to Maysway. Now I'll go right back to turning the cars over here and delivering it to the lot of Brennan Docks. Okay, sucks. Okay, pop the guy. So then the guard blew his whistle and Thomas swiftly popped out of that first station with, his, with the passengers. But Dennis wasn't cheerful. He was lazy. He didn't want to shunt all these freight cars and take them to the docks by himself. He wanted Thomas to do it for him. We want to be back soon, he wondered. Hmm. Thomas was pulling his passengers and he stopped at Midway Station. Percy was also there. Hello, Percy, said Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Also, stop head. I was the one, too, that Ryan is so broken down and he needs to take his train from the docks. Sure, said Thomas. Then I'll, quick, now, then I'll quickly get back to Dennis. Then Thomas, 
comments were already there, but enough to, to collect Ryan's load. And where have you been, said Cranky? We need you and Dennis to come here with that load. What? Dennis isn't here yet, said Thomas. No, said Salty. Okay. We were assuming he would be here by now. Uh, so I'm going back to the yard. I need to help me shut the cars and get, and get the train ready. And Thomas raced away. Thomas went back into the yard. Dennis, why haven't you shut the, shut the cars yet? Well, I was hoping you could do it, said Dennis. So that we could take the cars together. Um, okay, said Thomas. Soon, Thomas had shunted all the cars. Okay, Dennis, he said. The cars have been shunted. Now you and me come out and take them to get into the dog. Then it was about to come towards him when Stafford rolled up. Hello, Thomas, can you help me? With what? He said. Um, I need some help with this train at Stafford, said Stafford. <sighs> I can't pull it properly on my own. But Thomas is supposed to help me, said Dennis. I would be really quick, says the Stafford. He'll be here, he'll be there and back. Okay, said Thomas. Ugh. Cranking, so he needs his train at the docks now. Uh, can you manage the train, Dennis? Me? But why? I, I, well... Okay, good, said Thomas. Come on, Stafford. He didn't want to take the freight cars by himself. He also likely didn't want to take the freight cars with Thomas. He just wanted to sit sit in the siding. <sighs> I don't want to take these cars. And now I want to take them by myself. I can't do this, he said to Dennis. Then he rolled away. He didn't want to take the cars, and he didn't want to do any work. Our lead camera was getting far away from it. If I go somewhere else, another engine will have to take those cars, then said. And he raced down the line. Meanwhile, Stafford showed Thomas a long heavy train. Okay, that is long. I'll help you pull it, then I have to get back to the yards for Dennis. Okay, so Stafford. Soon they were coupled up and they pulled out of the station. Thanks for helping with the train, Thomas, and Stafford. No problem, said Thomas. And they soon pulled into a Brendan Docks. Well, here's one of the trains we need, said Cranky. But where's the other one? Yeah, says Salty. We need that other... We need that other train that you and Dennis are supposed to be collecting. He isn't here yet, said Thomas. I should... I will show you to be here by now. Uh, I can let go and see what he's up to, said Thomas. Soon on Thomas on couple from the train. And he raced away to find Dennis. He got to the yard, but Dennis wasn't even there. Where is he? We're going to be super late. If Dennis doesn't show up soon, I can't take this train by, my, by myself. Said Thomas. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dennis was enjoying being free from his work when... When... He hit a rock in the track and came off the rails. Oh, oh no, said Dennis. Thomas was still looking for Dennis, and it, and it didn't take long for Thomas to find him. Dennis, Dennis, where have you been, he said. 
We need to take this rest the train to Brendan Docks right now. Well, I didn't want to take the train to Dennis. Why not? I was going to trick you into taking it for me. Yes, but why? Well, because I'm really a lazy engine and don't want to do work. So I just assumed that you would take the whole train for me. Dennis, I'm still all, you can't be lazy about work. You have to be really useful. And getting someone else to work for you isn't being really useful. So now we have to take the train to Brendan Docks. Right now, Sir Thomas. Oh, but first I will get help. Thomas brought Gator to lift Rocket to lift Dennis back onto the tracks. Thank you, said Dennis. No problem, said Gator. Happy to help. So Thomas and Dennis rolled back to the yard to collect the train. Soon they were coupled up and ready to go. Handcuffed up. Hi guys, what are you doing? Oh, we're taking this long train to the docks. So Thomas and then they both set off. Thomas and Dennis arrived at the docks just in time. Well, thank goodness you two are here, said Cranky. Dennis says to Hat, you have caused confusion and delay. While Thomas was busy helping on ranges, you should have taken the train yourself, or at least got someone else to help you. Sorry, said to Dennis, what happened again? And also, Thomas said that being really useful is much better than being lazy. <laughs> That's right, said Thomas. Well done, Thomas. Thank you for helping out Dennis today. Thank you, Thomas and Dennis. From now on, I'll try to be a really useful engine. Well, that's great then, said, said Thomas. And both Salty and Stafford had to agree. It was great being really useful indeed. <laughs>